Hey everyone, this is Sohini at Double Lab, and in this video, we're gonna do a quick integration of Airtable along with Discord.js. So we're gonna create a bot um, in Discord that uses the Airtable CMS and sends user information to our Airtable. So it's like a post request to our Airtable CMS. So normally, um, in our previous videos, we have learned how to create an Airtable um, table in a base. And we have also learned how to integrate that with an Alexa skill. But back then, um, sending some data to our Airtable directly through an Alexa skill or an external application was a burden because their APIs were not well developed then. But now you can post data to Airtable CMS through any external application. So we're going to do a short demo. And today my platform would be Discord and Airtable. So this is a small table I created. The name of my table is information. The name of my Airtable base is Discord demo. And if you're new to this and if you're wondering how to create this, I recommend you take a look at the video that I've done before and there's a link um, in the description below so you can get back to that video and you can quickly learn how to create a table and an Airtable base and how to set it up. So these are my fields. Uname stands for username. Feedback is a user's feedback and this is going to be the time of creation which is going to be generated instantly and we are not doing any kind of uh, manual operation in this. So this gets generated every time a user would send a message and a feedback um, or a feedback. So basically um, to portray this example today, I have created this Discord channel. So it's going to be a review is project. So let's say you have a Discord server and you've got a couple of products um, in your company or let's say you have a YouTube channel, just like we've got, and you've got numerous uh, videos, or let's say you have a restaurant or anything, and you want to take your users' reviews and store them in a database. So we can do that easily using just Discord and Airtable CMS. So what's happening in here is in here, um, so you get inside a server. So this server is our internal server. This we use for testing. Um, so in here, I have done all these um, bots so far. So here, if I just go to the reviews channel and I just write a review, it's going to say, oh, thank you so much for your feedback. And that's going to get inside of this with my username in here, with my feedback in here, and the time of this creation, the time when I wrote the um, review. So this gets deleted, but whatever is sent in the review won't be deleted from our Airtable database. So that's a plus. So that's another unique reason you can have this database and store everyone's feedback. Um, so let's get started. So I think my Airtable CMS is created and my Discord um, channel is created. I also walked through the steps to how to create a Discord bot. Um, if you are not clear with that, you can again watch the video about how to create a Discord bot. That's also stitched in the description below. And do let me know if you have any questions on the comment to this video. Then what we're gonna do is just run this code. I will explain the code, but first let's see how this works. I'm gonna run this. It says that logged in as Airtable bot 5619. So this is running. Now I'm going to go inside my Discord server and I will write Hey, Dabble Lab. Your YouTube videos are educational. That's a compliment. I'm gonna hit enter. It's gonna say thank you for your feedback. This is our bot responding. So in this channel, we can have numerous users to come in and give in their reviews. And our bot is gonna respond back by saying thank you for your feedback. 
So for now, I've set this string as a response. We can have more strings as a response and we can randomize them so that this application looks more um, easy. Now, if we come inside of our Airtable database, you see this is real time. It just got updated instantly. You can see that it has picked up my username, it has given my feedback, and this is the time of creation. So this is working basically with respect to um, the local time and it's 12 hour format and it's the same time zone GMD for all collaborators like that. But you will not have access to this database, it's going to stay only with the admin because I am using my Airtable's credentials for this. So you will not have access to this unless I share the link to this Airtable with you. So if you own a company and if you want to have such a facility, this is secure. You can keep this secure. Your database won't be public. It will remain with you. And it's very simple. You don't have to write down huge lines of queries to get this settled up. Now let's take a look at the code, which is super easy. So normally these are the codes to set up our Discord bot. Um, you can see line number one to four, lines nine to 11, again, 13 to 17. These are the basic lines of code to establish a connection between your Discord server and your backend code. That is something that I've done in here. You can refer to the previous videos to have a detailed explanation of those. Then this is my Discord token um, and this is inside of my secrets environmental variables. So it's better to keep it secret. Along with that, you should also keep your API key and base ID very much secret because those are private. Make sure you never share them with anybody. So this is a demo. That's why I am explaining this through this but i'm going to be deleting all of these once i'm done with the code um then you can get inside of the try and this is the main part where we write the main code so try and catch blocks in here this code you see so information is the name of my air table table information so base of information dot create this is the method and these are the ones these are the fields your name and feedback so i'm storing the user's username and the feedback in here and i'm sending it through my um, discord bot through the discord channel to my airtable content management system in the airtable base um that's it and then i am also printing the record number for each one of them just in case ever i want to refer to them in the future and then I'm sending back this message to the same channel that thank you for your feedback. This is my channel ID. Um, you can randomize this prompt so that your your bot looks more um, normal, more humanish. But it's fine. Um, as I mentioned before, you can always customize stuff. Well, yeah, that's it. This is this much. So in this video, we learned how to actually... Um, post information to your Airtable base table. Um, so this is the main thing. I think we've got a section where we need the API key and the base ID. So to fetch this, you can go to this part of your Airtable website. You can go to authentication and instead of authentication, you can see your um, endpoint URL, your API key. So when you do show API key, it's going to come up and this is your base ID. When I do show API key, it's going to show my API key. Um, so that way you can fetch yours. Once again, never share this information with anybody. This is absolutely private. And if you do, then someone might manipulate your credentials to fulfill their own purpose and you can fall in trouble. So make sure you don't do that. Um, so in our next couple of tutorials, we're going to be learning how to list records, how we're going to retrieve a record, how we're going to update records and delete records. But of course, those are going to be admin because we won't give public access to update records or maybe yeah, updation is fine. They can just update their own records and deletion. No, retrieve a record. Yes. And list records. No. So these are the things like 
so when we're building these kinds of bot we're gonna make things a bit clear um like what's gonna be the user side perspective of using this application the discord bot that we're building the discord channel where the discord board is performing this communication and what's going to be the business side what's going to be the company side perspective of this about how much data the company must share and how much access would a user have to their database but anyways those are just brainstorming about how to learn more but in, in terms of learning perspective, I will be sharing how to list records, how to retrieve a record, update and delete. To learn more, you can also navigate to this website and figure stuff, um, double stuff just as I do. But in case you want me to do, you gotta wait because I'm gonna be coming back soon again in the next video and start something new. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you really think that the content was amazing and it helped you learn, do not forget to hit a like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, do not forget to ask me in the comment section below. And I will see you soon again in my next tutorial. Till then, have fun, keep coding. Thanks for watching.